What's going on everybody? Here we are checking out some SnowRunner on xCloud or Xbox um, Xbox Cloud Gaming Beta. And we're just going to jump into a new game. I haven't played on console. I just jumped in for a couple of minutes uh, before I started recording and see how things were feeling here. But um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and just jump into a new game. As far as settings, the only thing I've done is video. Gone in and turned off motion blur and film grain. Not a fan, especially... Uh, on this game and with 30 FPS we've got enough motion blur alright so let's get into a new game now a few issues that I have with the current xCloud that exist uh, that you guys already know if you've been watching is 30 FPS for cloud gaming or local is just it's done it's it's done for once you get used to 60 120 higher um, there's just no going back to 30 it's really rough and in cloud especially 30 fps is just it can be very unplayable but why i like to do these videos is really just so i can get more of an idea of how things are feeling when it comes to x cloud how uh, the tech is coming along as far as the stream itself and how it feels to game on it. The games themselves are rendering on the 1S blades. They are like last, last gen. Um, the 1X would have certainly been better. They could have had higher res textures and things like that. But with the 1S, the games just, it's pretty much all 30 FPS and they aren't where I want them to be. However, they're getting the content onto Game Pass, onto xCloud, so that when we do get those Series X Blade upgrades, we do get that hardware upgrade, they're going to be able to flip that switch and we're going to have so much better performance, better versions of the games that are there. Um, so I definitely see the future and, and potential. Um, I think xCloud is going to probably be one of the number one cloud gaming services uh, by the end of the year or rolling into next spring if they pull off everything that they want to. Another issue is the loading. That's why I'm sitting here talking to you as well to show you... <laughs> The loading time there is rough because we are on that older hardware, the older generation console. Um, so it is when you're used to faster loading on a PC or on the Series X or S with the fast hard drives, it, it, does, um, it does get rough. All right, but we're in. We'll see how we're looking at least here, how things are feeling. We will. We're going to go to the watchtower. We are on auto here, I think. Yeah, yeah. All-wheel drive, that's what we need. Let's go all-wheel drive for this. Come on. This game's a lot of fun. If you like these type of simulation uh, games, you can spend a good amount of, uh, you can spend a good amount of time in them. Uh, I played this a good bit on PC. So I've got a general idea what's going on. Anyways, I thought it would be fun to jump in this beginning area and and mess around. We'll go to the watchtower. We'll, we'll play around a little bit. But I can tell you off the bat, um, from playing games like Grand Theft Auto 5 on xCloud, Gears of War, I just about fully played through Gears of War again, the Ultimate Edition, uh, solely on Xbox Cloud Gaming Beta. And that game looked and played so well, especially in comparison to some of the um, other games. So, yeah, not every game is equal when it comes to xCloud right now, when it comes to the bitrate, the latency. Um, now, for me right now during this session, and it's hard to tell because it could change later when I try again, um, it's not the best right now for SnowRunner. Um, I've definitely seen better quality, better, better bitrate. Um, see if we can go around this. And... Uh, better latency with some of the other games but we just got in here so we'll mess around but you can definitely see it's not just the is this too deep is this too deep no all wheel drive there we go there we go go in between these but yeah it's not just the 30 fps let's go get our fuel it's the bit rate when the bit rate drops too much during a lot of movement that can be Get fuel. There we go. Off to the watchtower. But here I'll show you just sitting still here. Not moving. Things will clear up a bit. Now of course we have that 30 FPS. Which is not good. But what I can tell is the stream, the smoothness of the, of the stream. So even though I'm dealing with 30 FPS, I'm also dealing with uh, the bitrate moving around on me here. 
the uh, the stream is not stuttering though. You know what I mean? The stream itself is is smooth. I'm not getting those huge hiccups or stutters or problems, and that's what I'm testing out with XCloud right now because the games on these blades are never going to be great. Between the 30 FPS and the other issues, the old school hard drive, the textures, the resolution, it's just, it's never going to be where, it, but, but it's not meant to be. Um, this particular hardware and in beta, this is not meant to be what the finished product's going to be. But it is fun to see how it's working. Alright, let's get up here. Yeah, latency is definitely a little bit of an issue here, but... Alright, we got to our watchtower. We're going to launch our observation. Let's see how this looks. Find truck. Let's see, where is the other truck? Uh, there's one to lumber mill. There's one over here. Let's, let's see if we can go over here. Marker? Can we mark her? Let's see. I remember, I think I just went down this hill when I first played this game before I went around. Carefully. Things can get out of hand quickly. Alright. Yeah, see that's... You. All right. I'm definitely going to download this on my Series X. And get going and, and try it out over there, that's for sure. I really enjoyed this game on PC. I'd like to get me some achievements going on. Now, this might look a lot better mobile on the phone, you know, but on the PC, on the browser right now, and right. It's definitely not. It's not fantastic. Uh, the latency's actually cleared up a little bit for me since I loaded the session. A lot of my sliding around is just the, the physics of the game and the, the mud and all this other stuff, but there we go. Alright, can we get in here? Change truck. We can do that. Over there. All right. Well, at least that's really quick. Contracts. Let's go get our contract. Old bridge construction. And activate. There we go. It should track that for me. Now, I have wrecked this big old truck before, so let's go. Let's repair the bridge. Off with the brake. Where's the markers at? Where am I going? There's one over there. Maybe that's where we'll where we'll go. Let's see. We need metal beams. Well. Oh. Let's go this way. Come on, you can do it. Climb. There we go. We're on a roll. So, yeah, definitely playable. Um, you're seeing you're probably seeing the bitrate come in and out up and down a little bit here, which is that that stuff and stuff right there you're seeing on the screen a pixelation And that's usually happening because they're adjust it's adjusting auto adjusting Because um, rather than keep that image quality up higher and cause stutters in the stream It's adjusting to keep the stream itself from having those kinds of issues, so Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, that's latency. That was latency. Okay. 
There we go. Yeah, sure. Blame it on the latency, man. It's you're driving. No, it's not. Right, I think if I remember right, we just got to go back here. We got to load up and go repair the bridge. Warehouse, let's go. Ah. There it is. Now we got it. Hold up. All right. We're going to deliver these. The old bridge. Where's the old bridge? It's up that way. Let's see if it shows up on the map. Fuel. Old bridge. There it is. Alright. Let's see if we can make our way there. Eh, 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 eh. On the road. On the road. Whoa. We can kind of head back. This way. I'll hit the hydrant. Oh, whoa, whoa, there we go. It's kind of all over the place right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's in the old bridge. And it's probably where we'll stop it. We'll go up here to the bridge and we'll drop this stuff off. But I thought it was nice to take a quick look at how this was, was running. It's definitely not running as good as some of the other games that I've really, really enjoyed on xCloud so far. Um, but I'll try it again as well. See how it does. Come on, come on, come on. You can make it. You can make it. There we go. But yeah, you guys have to let me know how this is. Uh, if you're trying out SnowRunner on XOD, how is it running for you? Now, the stream, like I said, smoothness is there. I'm not getting stutters or problems. I am getting some latency issues that I don't usually have with this beta. Um, and a lot of the games don't have this bitrate issue. This reminds me of my Halo video. If you haven't seen that, go check out Halo, the first one running on, on xCloud here. And then go compare that to my Gears of War. It's just, it's so, oh, oh, too far. It's so different. But that experience will get smoothed out, you know. They'll get there. The future of cloud is looking pretty good. I mean, between xCloud, GeForce Now, Luna, and Stadia, there's a lot of exciting stuff going on if you're into cloud. All right, we got our delivery. Unload and fix that bridge. There we go. All right, guys, this game is a lot of fun. Like I said, I played it a lot on PC. Um, you can definitely waste a lot of time in here driving around and having some fun, getting your contracts done and that type of thing. Is it playable on xCloud? Uh, well, your experience may differ. It's very difficult with cloud. Everybody has a different experience between your Internet, between how busy the data center is near you. Um, like I said, I could get on this later, and it could be even better. But like I said, if you look here... Like, as I pan around, we're not getting those big stutters, you know what I mean? Or those even micro stutters. It's it's a very smooth stream, and the game itself is running a, what appears a pretty solid 30. So that's what I'm looking at, you know what I mean? The, the stream itself is doing pretty good. Once they get the quality where they need it, once we get those upgrades, I am super excited to see where, uh, where xCloud is going to be going. But yeah. Definitely, I think you could enjoy this game in the cloud just fine, depending on how good 
your experience is going to be but you just got to understand that we are on older older hardware with this beta right now we are doing most games at 30 fps lower texture resolutions and, and resolution in general um, and that type of thing but um, ultimately it's definitely it's definitely making headway compared to where where it was this is leaps and bounds from where we were a year ago so all right guys thanks a lot for coming to watch i really appreciate it if you haven't already uh give a sub a uh, thumbs up uh leave your comment down below and if you want to know when new videos come out comes come out hit that notification bell all right guys thanks a lot for coming to watch i really appreciate it i'll see you in the next one let's go pick up some wood